pound for pound boxing real news like comment share subscribe hit the bell notification if you want to be notified what is going on man don't even utter Shakur Stevenson versus Devin Haney stop it that shit is not gonna happen you setting yourself up for failure and I say this because these fighters here are not never gonna fight each other these fighters here will never, ever, ever, ever fight each other. Don't even utter those words, okay? Don't even fantasy match this fucking fight. Devin Haney versus Shakur Stevenson will never happen even in your wildest dreams, all right? No ever, ever, ever in your fucking life utter those two names together and say that these two fighters are going to see each other in the future and this and that and that and this and this and that. Fuck that. This fight will never happen. Alright? It'll never fucking happen. So you could go and cry about it. Talk about it. But, but for what? Wasting your breath for no reason. For no reason at all. Them two dudes they will never, ever, ever fight each other. You see these guys and they are congratulating themselves after a victory, all right, to, to guys that don't even fucking matter. You know what I'm saying? To guys that don't even fucking matter. They over here congratulating, congratulating each other and shit. Oh, hey, hey, man, you know, you did a great job against this dude. You did a great job. These dudes are friends, man. These dudes will never fight each other, all right? I, I, if I was you, I wouldn't even utter those two names. This is probably going to be my last time ever, ever, ever making a video on something like this. These two fighters, they will never fight each other. All right? The easier to fight with, with, with the money, that's all they want. You know what I'm saying? It's no, it's, no, it's no reason to ever, ever, ever say that these two fighters will ever fight, even if you try to combine them and, and put them together and paste them and this and that, but it just won't happen. It won't. I'm sorry to tell you and to break your bubble and to burst your bubble, but it just won't happen. It won't. Right? We see how hard it is uh, for fighters uh, when they start getting clout, when they start getting their name up. You know what I'm saying? The way that these companies move in these guys you know what I'm saying? They 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 not getting those. They not get, we're not going to get those fights. As fans, we have to come to a conclusion uh that we can't we can't really expect too much from these guys because it comes too much into play like the promotional company has a lot of say into the, what what the fighter will do, right? The fighter has a lot of say in how they want to be moved, right? Now these fighters, you really think that these fighters nowadays, in today's time, not just talking about Shakur Stevenson or um, Devin Haney, right? But these guys get moved st uh, strategically, all right? That's the harsh truth about boxing, all right? No fighter is just getting going out here. And you can really tell by the Earl Spence and Terrence Crawford fight, they wait till the last minute. And this is, this is the type of thing that happens a lot in boxing. They wait till the last minute, and then the fighters think that they're all high and mighty when they're, when they're at their highest peak and they feel like they deserve the most, right? This is when you don't get fights. Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao is a prime example of that, right? When two fighters pass their prime, they fight each other for the most money, and then... The fight is shit at the end of the day anyways. The fight is trash. Nobody cares about the fucking fight. But people are engaged because they are. Oh, they're like, oh, these two guys, you know what I'm saying, just because they got their names up. And, oh, they, these two guys are going to fight each other. And they're like, all right, well, now we'll watch. But at the end of the day, man, it, it, it's sad in boxing um, that these 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 fighters will never fight. All right? And... and, and I don't mean to burst your bubble, you know what I'm saying? People have arguments and they talk and they say, you know, this and that. Don't even fantasize about this type of fight. This type of fight here is not a type of fight that's going to happen ever, ever, right? 
maybe when these guys are maybe 50 years old, this fight will happen on some shit like that. But other than that, it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry to burst everybody's bubble. I'm sorry to just tell the truth. But then there's no there's no reason to, right? These guys congratulate themselves after a fight. These guys are all friends. You know what I'm saying? They they're not they they're not here to fight each other. They're here to fight other people from other other places and just get the most money and get the fuck on out of boxing. It's simple as that. There ain't no ain't, ain't no tricks to this shit. There ain't none of that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no tricks in boxing and this and that that, oh yeah, these guys are gonna fight each other. Yeah, yep, this guy's gonna fight him and this guy. Nah, it's just not like that. You know what I'm saying? It's about capitalizing. It's about making the most money that you can make inside of boxing. It's not about, you know, the best fighting, the best and this and that. Nah, it's just not about that. You know what I'm saying? Because these guys aren't the cash cows of boxing, right? These guys are just not that. You know what I'm saying? So when when you have a guy like, if the cash cow is going to fight whoever he wants to fight and whoever and whoever can whatever he wants to do, right? If he wants to maximize his profits, he's going to fight whoever he wants to, right? Or if he wants to go for legacy, he's going to fight whoever he wants to because he can make that type of payday. He could generate that type of money. He can he networks are going to uh fucking bend over backwards to make those types of fights. Now when these guys the 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 smaller the smaller type of fighters, the regular everyday Joe type of fighter, he he they're not calling those shots. They're not really making anything happen. So they can, you know, they can act like they want fights, but in reality, we know that you don't want that fight. In reality, we know that you're gonna do whatever your promotional company does, you know what I'm saying, wants you to do. And and that's just simple as that. There's no other way around that. You know what I mean? And uh, that's a very clear point in boxing, especially when you get into those uh, pre premier weights, right? Where it's like welterweight, that lightweight division is pretty uh, premier. You know, those, those, those two divisions is very tricky for fighters, right? Because in those two divisions, fighters are very entitled. They they feel like they have entitlement and they feel like they can do whatever they want. And, and and it's just not the case. But for you to sit here and really think about it and really say that Shakur Stevenson versus Devin Haney and actually make arguments for these two, two guys, that is crazy. That is sad. And, and I wish you well in boxing, but it's the truth. There's there's no way that these two guys will ever ever face each other. All right, there's just no there's no way. You know what I'm saying? What's good, HRD? What's good, bro? There ain't no way. There ain't no way that these two fighters will ever 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 fight each other. And that's just how boxing is. Is is that's just how it is. You know the the. The, the, the fights that you want, they're always going to fight out of their prime. You know what I'm saying? So when when you do have those fights like a Jamel Charlo versus a Brian Castaño, those are great fights. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, we do get great fights here and there. You know what I'm saying? Especially when up uh, uh, fighters come out of the woodwork and they, they put in that work, man, and they go in there as underdogs and they come out as top dogs. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's very rare. The the way that boxing works, I'm talking about, well, I mean, right now I'm just talking in general, but uh, I'm talking about Shakur Stevenson and, and Devin Haney. They would never, ever, ever fight each other. That There's no way that people should be making arguments for these two fighters to, to even fight each other, right? It, does, it, it just doesn't align. These guys will never fight each other. These guys are friends. These guys... These guys congratulate themselves uh, after every fight. These guys will never, ever, ever fight each other. Uh, but what I was just talking about was in general, it's everybody, just just the sport of boxing itself. It it, it it just works one way, right? It just works one way. We'll never get those types of fights where it's like when when they're the best, where, we, where, people, where fans feel like, yo, these two dudes right here, if they was to fight right now, this shit would probably be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we probably just won't ever see that. They just cloud chasing each other to stay relevant. Yeah, man. And, and 
and it's sad because fans invest their time, invest they, they like invest invest themselves into talking about these two fighters. And these are just fights that would just never happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh fans invest themselves into in, into that type of shit when it just won't never happen. That's why I don't I, I, I there's no fantasy matchup. There's nothing like that that I would even think about. Oh, Devin Haney could fight Shakur Stevenson. That's not even a fight that I even think about, right? Because the 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 history tells you, like, look, these dudes are congratulating the shit out of themselves after every fight. Man, what a great job you just did, Devin. Wow, you really put it on that dude, man. And then fucking uh, uh, Devin Haney after the Shakur Stevenson fight. Oh, great job. You know what I'm saying? Why even think about these two dudes is going to fight each other? It shit would never happen. You know what I'm saying? The the only name, the only name Haney needs to be mentioning is Loma. Yeah, and that's a fact. I mean, I think that that's, that's an actual realistic fight, right? That's a realistic fight that, that, that could happen. You know what I'm saying? But... Hold on, hold on. But that's a realistic fight. That's an actual fight that could actually be made. I'm just speaking on Devin Haney and Shakur Stevenson and how fans actually are, are saying that this fight could happen. You know what I'm saying? Which is a, a hundred times anybody could tell you the way that boxing works is just it'll never happen that shit will never happen ever 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 but it is what it is i think that devin haney like you said should be should be mentioning lomachenko and that's it because that's the fight that could actually be made that's a fight that people do want to see i would love to see it you know what i'm saying if devin haney could get it past a dude like lomachenko um where where i think that that's a good fight for him. You know what I'm saying? That's a very, very, very respectable fight. If he gets past that dude, he's going he's gonna to be a very tough opponent. He's going to be a, a tough opponent. I think what, um, you know, he had a good he had a good fight against George Cambosis Jr. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, it it wasn't, it it still wasn't what, what I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? It still wasn't what I was looking for, but, you know, I mean, I, I don't think the kid's that special, to be honest. I think he's just a straight, you know what I'm saying, defensive fighter, and I think that that's just what he's really good at, and I think that that's what he's trying to capitalize on. He's trying to – his skill is just that. I'm just trying to – I'm just trying to be that defensive-ass fighter and, and just be good at that, you know what I'm saying? But we're not going to see no explosive shit from him. We're not going to see no elusive-ass shit from him. We're not going to see different sides of him where it's like – Yo, this kid right here, he's going to be the truth. Nothing like that. I think that he's just, if you you just got to be able to keep up with his game and, and throw him off that night. You know what I'm saying? So fighters like that, I mean, I think Lomachenko definitely has a great chance against them. I think that Lomachenko could actually beat Devin Haney, to be honest. I think the angles will be too much for Devin Haney, even though Devin Haney won't want to engage with Lomachenko. But I think the angles are just going to be too much for him. The way we see Lomachenko, people could clown on Lomachenko, say this and that about Lomachenko just because whatever. But the dude's angles and that dude is really the matrix. He's really that guy. You know what I'm saying? Lomachenko is really that guy. So if you could, if you could get past the guy like Lomachenko, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's gonna be a very tough fight. But if you get past that type of dude, you know what I'm saying, you got my respect. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's a, that's a really good fighter right there. You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, obviously Lomachenko is a smaller fighter, whatever, but still, that dude right there, he's an animal. You know what I'm saying? But let me get up out of here, man. I just wanted to come on and say, don't ever utter the fucking words Shakur Stevenson versus uh, Devin Haney ever in your life. That's, that type of fight would never happen. It just it, it's not in the cards. The only way we could ever, ever, ever see that fight is if 
I don't. I really don't even think that fight will happen. To be honest, come on, let's be honest with ourselves. That fight will never happen, yo. That sh that shit will never happen. But like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification if you want to be notified. Follow me on Instagram at P for P Boxing. Real news, and we out.